Finally, I get my very own book to star in. This is going to be great. I'm going to make it a wordless book. They are very artistic. This book will have no words at all starting now. Uh, uh, okay, starting now. Hi, Rupert. What are... Shh! Be quiet. This book does not have words. Wow, we a wordless book. Can I help? Oops, I'm talking. Beep. I'm talking about talking. Stop. The book already started. You're messing it up. Please let me stay in the book. I promise I'll be quiet. I'll be extra wordless. Please? I said be quiet. This book is wordless. Hey, guys. What's with all the shouting? Hi, Thistle. We're making a wordless book, but I promise to be quiet, so I can't talk to you about it. A wordless book? I love those. They're very artistic. Can I be in it? Yes, but we won't tell Rupert, since we're not supposed to be talking. I told you to be quiet. You're putting too many words in the book. Yay, this book is going to be so much fun. Quiet, you. This book will be more than fun. It will be visually stimulating. What does visually stimulating mean? I think it means we're going to poke our readers in the eyeballs with pictures. That's not what it means. It means we need to have strong illustrations. Like this? Arrgh! Look, we're helping. No, you're not. Be quiet. This book is wordless. Rupert is right, Nibs. What this book needs is some strong but silent types. Hmm. Strong but silent. What about him? He's strong. He's silent. Every book needs a bear in it. I don't know. He looks grumpy. What about something cuter? What about a kitten? Kittens are super cute and friendly. Aw, look at its cute little nose and whiskers. And its beautiful big eyes and shiny teeth. Nibs, I think it's getting a little too friendly. Quick, think of something vegetarian. A cucumber. We'll just draw a smile on it and add some googly eyes. And there, a vegetarian. Nibs. What exactly do you think a vegetarian is? Stop filling my brilliant piece of wordless literature with nonsense and stop talking. You're not taking this seriously. Is this more serious? What are you supposed to be? A president? No, I'm Vincent Van Mouse. I don't think everyone will get that. Can you try something a little simpler? Uh, We're simple. We're Potatoes. Stop talking and stop changing the pictures around. I don't even like potatoes. Rupert is right. No more artistic stuff. Wordless books need action. We should have a silent superhero instead. We'll call him Captain Quiet. And he could fight words. Pow! Blam! Kaboom! No! 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 No superheroes! No Amatanapia either! I think Rupert just said, I'm a gonna pee ya? What do you think that means? I think it means he should have gone to the bathroom before the book started. What about moms? Moms are extra quiet. Guess what I'm miming? Let's see. Is it a cheese sandwich that thinks it's a hummingbird with a lettuce sweater? Don't you know what be quiet means? It means don't make a sound. Right. It's like that saying about a little tree falling in the woods. How's it go? Nibs, can you help? I'm on it. <laughs> it goes something like, a tree falls on someone who isn't listening in the woods. No, that's not right. <laughs> Did the tree make a sound? It was hard to tell with all of Rupert shouting. Should we try again? Enough! I've had it! All you two do is talk, talk, talk. I can't stand it. Can't you be quiet for just one page? I try to do one thing, make a wordless book, and you two go and ruin it. You have filled this book with words. No one is going to want to read a wordless book that is filled with words. Why can't you do a simple thing like not say anything? Is it that hard? I'm quiet. I'm not saying anything, but no, you two just keep talking and 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 talking. And talking. What? Shh! Be quiet. This book does not have words. Oh! I thought the book turned out okay. I hope we get to do another one soon.